An emergency. An emergency? Yes, doctor. He brought the woman with gunshot wounds. What kind of a hospital is this, doctor? I've been standing there with a gunshot person, and all you do is ask questions. Calm down, sir. Calm down. But it is against the rule of this hospital to treat a gunshot victim without police clearance. This is unbelievable. Police what? Police report, sir. This report will help us enable us to commence treatment on her. Okay, if that's what you need, I'll go get it. No, please. Okay, get in. Wait, sir. Uh, you can just leave her here. What do you mean, doctor? I expect me to carry her like this in this condition. Are you Mrs. Rita Chingwe's mother? Yes. Any problem? Yes, ma. Chingwe. Chingwe what? Chingwe was shot by armed robbers and she's dead. Take her. I am finished. Uh, Madam, take her. Oh. Oh. Today, this court will give judgment in the suit between Rita Eke and Barclay Specialist Hospital Limited. Upon going through the entire court proceedings together with the SB standard during the hearing of this matter, and after hearing the submissions of counsel on both sides, I hereby find as follows. One, that sections 14 and 15 of the Administration of Criminal Justice Act 2015 provides that victims of gunshots could not be treated in Nigerian hospitals without clearance from the police. Two, that the advent of the Compulsory Treatment and Care for Victims of Gunshots Act 2017 has negated that law. Section 1 of the Compulsory Treatment and Care for Victims of Gunshots Act 2017 provides that all hospitals in Nigeria shall accept and treat without a police clearance any person with a gunshot wound. 4. The aforementioned law was enacted to protect the lives of gunshot wound victims, thereby ensuring the protection of the fundamental human right to life. Five, having said that, any medical practitioner who rejects a patient in emergency and didn't stabilize his life is liable. Six, 
In the instant case, the defendant erred by rejecting the disease who was a patient in emergency by failing to stabilize her life. Based on the foregoing, I therefore find merit in the claims of the plaintiff and hereby make the following orders. A. That the defendant pays the plaintiff the sum of 20 million naira as both specific and general damages for the avoidable death of her daughter, Ms. Chinwe Eke. B. That Dr. Abraham Opera, who was directly involved in this matter, be suspended from medical practice for five years to serve as a deterrent to other negligent medical practitioners. As the, the court, court please. The court will rise. Court. Fiat Justicia et Peremundo. See to it that justice is done at all times. This call goes to both the police, hospital management, and medical practitioners. It is against humanity, and indeed against the hypocritical oath of doctors to see a patient dying and see that police support must be obtained before treatment is offered. What kind of crude, harsh, and inhuman practice is that? If you didn't know before, please note now that it is a clear case of medical negligence and as a doctor, you could be tried in a court of law for that. Oh yes, the law doesn't say you should let the criminal go unpunished. But the question is, who are you to call the person a criminal? Must everyone be who has a gunshot or stab injury be a criminal? What about innocent persons who were at the wrong place at the wrong time. And even if they are said to be criminals, are you the one to pronounce so when you aren't a competent court of law? For your information, the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria adjudged that only competent courts of law have the power to make such finding and pronouncement. The law therefore requires you to treat and where necessary, report such incidents to the police, for possible apprehension of a person while in custody. I know the death of Chi Nweke obviously has taught Dr. Emeka Opara some bitter lessons. Be human, learn from him, and not be like him. This is the People's Lawyer, and my name is Kanayo O. Kanayo Esquire. Thanks for watching. Get yourself a lawyer. You say you know need up. Now you don't complicate the matter. You don't implicate yourself. No be grand, no be fight. Lawyer go help you know your right. Teach me the law. Be go guide me. Got to rise up. Got to sit it down. Judge you judge the matter. Somebody at your back. Because the justice we define, which is justice all the time. Nobody is above the law. Nobody is above the matter. Nobody is above that. <laughs>